Hi friends, today uh, I want to show you this, you can see it's a building, it's got an exhaust pipe with some wasps in it. Well, the building's got an exhaust because it's a diesel powered building. It's a long time since anyone has been in here. As you can see the spider webs. moss growing on the door hey surprise you can see all the spider webs everywhere and the light so you can see uh, this is this is a ge generator it's a generator that hasn't run in uh, in a while It's a, a three-cylinder, uh, yeah, 1623 cc diesel, 18 horses at 1500 RPM, and uh, it's 380 volt, 50 hertz, three-phase, and uh, yeah. We used to run this for the farm. Let me get my my torch. Yeah, it's powered by a, a Nissan three-cylinder engine. It's got still some coolant in it and it's bright green. That's nice. No no big coolant leaks. You can see the spider webs everywhere. It's missing the battery. Back of the front panel, and a big transformer in it. Look, Nissan diesel motor Co Ltd. Japan. Big injection pump, the oil stick, <coughs> a 
it's got oil that's nice it's yeah it looks like it's a little high even uh, I have done an oil change on this thing five or six years ago and I run it and uh, yeah that's that's all it hasn't run in that all that time so I guess I have to move all the spiders and uh, see if the little ding thing li still lives Spiders. So I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a, a battery and, and see if we can crank it up. Okay, I have a battery. I have a battery. I don't know if it fits in this thing. <laughs> Okay, which one goes where? I guess this is red, so that's positive. And this one goes, where does it go? Where does it go? It goes, yeah, that's it. It goes to the starter. Okay, I guess I have to rotate the battery. Okay, that's it I guess. That's it I guess. Well... Those are the battery connectors, this one is plus. That's plus. That's minus. Okay. Finger tight. Okay, that, that won't move anymore, I think. Okay, battery is in place.
Let's have a look at the front panel. RPM, the, the hours, voltage, amperage, frequency, voltage regulator, voltage build up button, circuit breaker, 20 amps, main 12 volt switch, the ignition key, stop button, panel light, that works, I guess the battery has some juice in it, okay, that works too, this is the gas pedal, I guess, that's not a pedal, but Okay, well, I guess we'll give it a try. Okay, let's start. First, the first thing is that the thing hasn't run in a, in a while. So, um, I will... Uh, I will crank it a few times without starting it, without preheating it to get the oil up in the engine. So I will do Okay, that's that should be okay. Now, what you have to do is turning the key without the the gas uh, down, turning the key on preheat, and wait for the for the little element in that hole to glow red. That takes a few seconds. It's coming, it's coming, it's glowing, it's glowing, yeah, okay, I think this should be okay, now start. Okay, that's, that's not bad for uh, an engine that hasn't run in years.
no wasps anymore. It's smoking a little. It's smoking a little, but I guess I won't be too happy if someone wakes me up after years sleeping. Well, let's warm it up and uh, we rev it up a little. I, uh, I don't have anything to. I don't have anything to make it run on the load for the moment. So uh, uh, I guess that that will uh, we'll have to wait for that. Climbing in temperature, we will crank it up a little. At, at normal running speed, Now that's that it's warmed up it doesn't smoke anymore. Although it, it wasn't really smoking. For a machine that's uh, more than 30 years old. Listen how it purrs.
Okay friends, that's all I guess. It's running perfectly. That's a really, really re reliable little machine. We have this thing since the mid 80s and uh, it never let us down.